everyone close your eyes right now and imagine a dream imagine you're standing on the top platform of the New Jersey State Wrestling Championships in one week can you picture that image yeah. now think think more think about the NCAA's you're standing on the top of the platform of the NCAA's or maybe even the Olympics feels good doesn't it yeah. it's great to dream dreams are really fun aren't they yeah. what are your dreams quick around the room tell me some dreams yes uh, to, be a professional to be a professional sports player excellent what else yes what <laughs> well you will at the end of this talk you will at the end of this talk anybody else yes professional football player yes professional wrestler can I tell you one of my dreams it was 17 years ago I had this dream of creating the best youth wrestling club in the country and with a whole bunch of people in this room coach Ernie coach Todd coach John coach Nick who isn't here a whole bunch of parents that some of her here and some are already gone it came true my dream became a reality and you're in it right now and then about five years ago when coach Joe and coach Chris took over and I knew this program was in great hands with coach John I had this this other dream and that dream was to go down to Trenton to a place that didn't have youth wrestling and bring youth wrestling to them with the same playbook we had for Princeton where wrestling could be a life changer and that dream is coming true as well it's really fun to have dreams and it's even sweeter if your dreams come true tonight we're going to talk about dreams platforms and choices so we talked about dreams what does it take for dreams to come true well I'll tell you I think there are two very important ingredients one is platforms and the other is choices so we talked about dreams let's talk about platforms remember we had a talk a few weeks ago about platforms about what makes a platform for a wrestler do you remember that remember the risers the building blocks for that Let's bring those back. I call these the work. You got to put the work in in wrestling. These are the risers for a great platform in wrestling. Right? You got to do this stuff. But it's not enough. You need more to be a great wrestler. You also need partners you need partners remember we talked about this partnership you cannot be great in your life you cannot achieve your personal greatness without partners without coaches without mentors these are the most important decisions you're gonna make in your life who are my partners who are the people who are gonna elevate my platform who's gonna push me to my limits and help me be a better person so you gotta have these to be a great wrestler too right so I call that the partnerships. You gotta have the partnerships. That makes a great wrestling platform, right? That's a wrestling platform. That's what we see the champions stand on at the tournaments, right? They've done that. They put all those things together and they managed to win that tournament, be their best. And remember we talked about what happens when you stand on a platform? You can see higher, you can jump farther, you can achieve greater that's what a platform does in wrestling but we talked about this remember there's platforms in wrestling but there's also platforms in life what are some risers for your platform in life well let me tell you you're gonna need these you're gonna need these these are things you're gonna need to work on your whole life what are they called 
virtues. These are the kinds of skills that you practice and grow that will make your platform sturdy and lasting. Very important. Getting pretty high, isn't it? You also need something else. You need the right mindset. You need the right mindset so that you can deal with failure, you can overcome failure and have the right mindset. Be coachable. Being coachable, being open to suggestions, being kind of like a sponge. You can learn from every single person. Be open, look for it. Be kind of like a sponge. Have the mindset of always learning. We're getting really high, aren't we? Yeah. Well, there's two more ingredients, really important ones that I want to spend some time on. Can anybody think of them? Yes. Um, the choices you make? Wow, that's great. We're going to talk about that very shortly. Before we get to choices, I want to get to these two risers here, Coach, the top one first. The next one is faith. Faith. I'll answer. We're going to have some questions and answers in a few minutes. Faith. This to me is really important. I believe God put me on earth to be coaching you guys, to be coaching in Trenton, and to be a doctor and a father and a husband. I really believe that that's my purpose, purpose in life. If you ever spend any time with Kyle Snyder, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, Faith is really important to him, too. Very important. Now, this is a very personal skill. Very personal. And it doesn't have to be religious. But if you want to be great, you had better believe that you've got a purpose here. You had better believe that you're part of something bigger. When you believe that you're part of something bigger, you jump higher. You are stronger. You achieve greater. I promise you that. This is a big one. Very important. And lastly, the last one, can anybody guess? Yes, AJ. Reading. That's exactly correct. This is something that has been tremendously powerful for me. And I want to share with you some of my favorite books tonight because I want you to think about this as a riser for your platform. This is something that can raise your platform through the ceiling if you do it right and you're disciplined and you do it every day. I want to share with you a couple books, my favorite books right there, those, those three. This is the first one. This is a book called Contiki. This is about a scientist who had a hunch in 1950 that the Polynesian Islands, that the Hawaiian Islands, were inhabited by people from South America. And they got there on rafts. They floated through the ocean currents. And to prove his theory, he went down to South America and built a raft and floated on it and proved that he was right. It's an incredible story. He had five partners on his raft. Remember I said partnership? You can't be great without partners. You need partners. This is a fantastic story. And this, this is a book by my wrestling idol, Dan Gable. And lastly, this is a poem that I want to share with you. This is written by a woman by the name of Bea Richards. It's called Today. Today is ours. Let's live it. Our work is here. Let's do it. The battle hard, let's fight it. The road is rough, let's clear it. The future vast, don't fear it. Today is ours, let's take it. I'm going to tell you something. Poetry is the world's oldest performance enhancement literature. If you want to get fired up, I got some poems for you. I'm telling you. These things are powerful. And when I get to these books and poems, I don't think of them as work. 
I think about it as getting a chance to ride this raft across the Pacific Ocean 4,000 miles and get to hang out with my idol, Dan Gable. And I get to get revved up by some really smart people. It's a mind shift. Don't think of it as work. Think about it as a pathway to discovery. If you can transform your mind, you will go to higher heights. Now, you know, I know a little bit about the brain, right? Yeah, right. Neuroscience tells us that when you read, the next day, even though you're not reading, your brain is still active in the areas where that registered reading. It's actually still reading while you're not reading. It's like doing push-ups on Saturday and getting the benefit on Sunday. Reading also makes you more sensitive to other people. And that is a key ingredient for leaders. So if you want to be a leader, you've got to read. How are you going to build your platform? By choices you make, right? Choices like, am I going to do those push-ups on Saturday, the ones that nobody knows about? Or am I going to goof off? Am I going to eat this candy bar? Or am I going to put something healthy in my body to fuel myself for the next practice? Am I going to read for 30 minutes? Or am I going to play on my phone? The choice is yours. Ask yourself the question when you're about to make a choice. Is this going to help my platform or hurt it? Is it going to build it or break it? Before I close, I want to open the floor up. I want to answer some questions. I want to get your reaction. I want to hear what you think about this. And then I'll finish. Does anybody have any comments? Anybody want to add to this? This is, this is the platform I'm working on. Does anybody have anything else? Does anybody have anything else on their platform? You want to share anything? Yes, Liam. Friendship. That's great. That's good. I should get, a, I should get another one. We'll put it on there. Partly part of partnership, right? Absolutely. Yes, Brody. Effort. Effort. Outstanding. Yes. Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. That's great. You're right. That needs to be there too, right? Yes. Practice. 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 Uh, dedication. Dedication. I love it. You can all, JB. Respect. 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 You can all. Build your own platforms. I want you to think about these things. I want you to think about your platform and how you're building it. So tonight we talked about dreams, platforms, and choices. And remember, when that day comes, when you're standing on top of your platform, remember, you're not standing on top of there so people can see you. You're standing on top of there so that you can see farther jump higher and achieve greater and reach down and help other people get up on their platform. Thank you. I have a little souvenir for everybody. It's a bookmark and it's a commitment to read 30 minutes a day, every day, no matter what. I guarantee you, if you read 30 minutes a day, your platform will be through the roof. Through the roof. Thanks for your attention. You guys were a great audience. Mark is uh, really motivational. Um, the kids love him. He's really dedicated to the kids in the sport. So um, I'm a huge fan. 